Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we will show you how to install the KC MRAC onto your second gen Ford Raptor. The first step of the install is to get everything out of the packages and laid out nice and organized. You'll begin by assembling the rack by attaching the crossbars to the side rails with two bolts per side per crossbar. So that's gonna be a total of four bolts per crossbar once you count for both sides of the side rails. Next, once you have completed the rack assembly, you can tape up the roof of your Raptor so that you can place the assembled rack on top to mark the locations that you need to drill holes. The tape is really just to protect the paint and anything like that from getting scratched up as you place the rack on top. After you place the rack on top, carefully mark out the locations where you drill the holes and double measure exactly that you have that rack centered on the roof right where you want it. Once you've done that, drill to the final size of a Q size drill bit. Once you have all of the holes drilled into the roof, you will then install the riv nuts with a dedicated riv nut tool. These are essentially just threaded rivets that you will use to secure the roof rack to your Raptor. After you've installed the riv nuts, place a dollop of silicone for extra protection against the elements on the bottom of the spacers, and then place those directly over the riv nuts. Then get your assembled roof rack and carefully place it back on top of the roof, making sure that all of those mounting tabs line up with the spacers. Then grab the included hardware and tighten the rack down so it's nice and secure. Next up are the optional side lights. Now these don't come standard with the MRAC kits, but they can be purchased separately. The first step to installing the optional side lights is to install the side light mounting tabs that are included with the rack. In order to do this, you're just gonna drop two carriage bolts into the crossbar for each of the two tabs, and then place the bracket over those bolts. Next, simply add a washer and a nylock nut and tighten them down so that you're still able to move them around by hand, meaning that they're not super duper tight quite yet. Then once you've got the tabs all mounted up, you're gonna install the four lights onto the tabs that you just installed. Once you get the side lights aimed and into the position that you want them to, that's when you're gonna go ahead and do the final tightening of those side light mounting tabs. Now, if you didn't opt for the side lights, then you'll just go ahead and install the side blackout plates that came with the rack, simply by press fitting those into those side light cutouts. Now you're seeing the install of the optional wiring harness that's specific for the MRAC. This has a very large connector that's attached to the crossbar in a very similar manner as those side light tabs, but just with a different bracket. If you purchased that harness, now would be the time to install it. One of the final steps of the install is to mount the Pro 6 front-facing light bar onto the rack. Now, on this section, you're gonna use the included hardware to get it mounted and aimed properly, and once you do, you're gonna need help from a friend. Once you have a friend with you to help with the bump stop, you're gonna get that in the proper location by having somebody lift up on the Pro 6 light bar itself while you pull that bump stop all the way down to the vehicle and then tighten it right into place. After that, then that's all that's left is the wiring. Our optional MRAX wiring harness is a big help for connecting all of the side lights. Once you have finished all of the wiring, then your install is complete. Thank you everyone for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our customer service team. Thank you, and remember to adventure further.